everyone. Uh, I'm Susie, and I am honored to be kicking off this session with an update on Dorado. So I'm going to have a quick overview of what Dorado is, uh, give you some information about what's been released over the last six months or so since the previous Dorado update, um, and then a quick overview of what's coming next. So what is Dorado? Dorado is a software tool. If we click, click. Ah! It's a software tool uh, which does base calling um, and also powers additional analysis for nanopore. So base calling is the process of converting raw signal from, D uh, from the nanopore to DNA or RNA bases. Along with being able to do this, Dorado pr provides additional functionality to extract information about those bases, like modified base calling, uh, for example, methylation in both DNA and RNA, and also poly-A tail estimation. We have additional tools uh, to kind of tidy up your signal, get it ready for um, answering your biological questions. So we have adapter and primer trimming, barcode demultiplexing and trimming, and these can be customized to your needs. And we are also adding more secondary analysis tooling into Dorado. So we've added uh, alignment previously, and today we have a new tool for assembly read correction, which I'll be going into in more detail in this talk. Okay, so uh, now we're all on the same page about what Dorado is. Um, it is an it is open source. It's available on GitHub. Um, you can download it there and run everything that I'll be talking about today. It also powers base calling and other analysis in Minnow and Epitome. Um, so things will be going into Minnow and Epitome with some delay as well. Uh, but we have a brand new release today, which is Dorado 070. And um, I'll tell you about that in our talk. But also, if you want to learn more about uh, Dorado, we have a bunch of talks from previous conferences, which I encourage you to go back and look at, going back to London Calling um, 2022. All right, so what's new in Dorado? Uh, in our brand new release today, Dorado 070, it's just gone out. Um, we have a bunch of exciting updates. So we have new base calling models, uh, modified bases, a new read correction tool, poly -A tail estimation extensions, and also improvements to our alignment and barcode demultiplexing. So I'm going to talk about all of these in some more detail, and also the talks following me will go into more detail on these. Um, so let's start off with the new base calling models. These are our version 5 base calling models. Uh, we have a new base calling model architecture uh, for our SUP base calling models, which are our most computationally intensive, but also most accurate models. Um, Sam is going to talk about that in a lot more detail. But with this new architecture, we're seeing a really big accuracy bump. We're seeing um, around 1.5Q accuracy bump for the SUP model. And in Hack, we also see a bit of an improvement um, with improvements to our, our training data and um, architectures there. And alongside the new base calling models, we have new mods models, which Adrian is going to talk about in more detail in his talk. Uh, but really exciting, we have a new 4MC, 5MC model alongside updates to our 5MC, 5HMC, and 6MA models. On the RNA side, um, actually, it's even, even bigger jumps that we're seeing for RNA. So because of a really big internal push on improving our data sets and um, training process for RNA, along with these new base calling model architectures, we have a more than 4.3Q improvement for SUP and also a really big 2.5Q improvement for HACK um, in our validation data sets. So, Really, really exciting advancements in RNA, um, kind of reaching entirely new levels, approaching Q20 accuracy there. On the RNA side, we also have a new pseudouridine model um, and a new all-context all M6A model, uh, which is replacing the previous available Dratch context model. So alongside the base calling improvements, um, we also have a new read correction tool, which is intended for use with assembly, uh, particularly haploid and diploid assembly. Um, we have used it for other things, but this is what we've mostly validated for. Sean is going to talk uh, a lot more in his talk about how we're using this uh, to create state-of-the-art telomids, telomere, nanopore assemblies. Um, this tool is available with the Dorado co correct command, 
And it is based on Hera, which is a collaboration between our teams and um, the Seekage Lab at GIS ASTAR. So if you want to learn more about Hero, I encourage you to go take a look at their GitHub. There will be a um, preprint coming out over the next few days as well. And Mele Seekage will be giving a talk here on Thursday. So please check that out if you want to learn more. Um, and Sean will be going into some more detail on the really great improvements that we're seeing using Hero. Cool. Um, so alongside this, we also have uh, various other really nice new features going into Dorado and uh, that have gone in over the, the last six months or so. So we have extensions to polyay tail estimation. We're now supporting plasmids and interrupted tails. Um, and this is all configurable with the polyay config command. Um, so hopefully straightforward. Try it out. Let us know what you see. Um, we have also updated the default parameters in the Dorado aligner command. Um, so this leads to a really large reduction in the CPU hours required, more than four times reduction we've been seeing. Um, so that went in with Dorado 060. That's been out uh, for uh, uh, the last few weeks. And um, that should be a, a really nice bump. We also have improvements to our barcode demultiplexing, um, particularly around rapid barcoding and native barcoding kits. Uh, and lots more, please uh, go take a look at our GitHub. You can see all the release notes um, with the, the change logs and very long list of things that have gone in. So please go take a look. All right, um, so just quickly, what's next in Dorado? Uh, as always, we are trying to speed everything up. We want everything to be as fast as possible. Um, so we will be working on speed enhancements for the new models, um, making sure that uh, despite the more computationally intensive architecture, we kind of get that sub-model back to, to parity with the previous version 4.3 models. At the moment, there's a little bit of a slowdown, um, but we'll be working really hard to rectify that. Also, improving the speeds of the modified base calling models, read correction, and other tools within Dorado. As I mentioned, all of this will be going into Minnow, um, but just with some delay, so that's coming up uh, later on this year. And we are also having a big push on improving the end-to-end -end analysis experience. So we want to reduce friction between our tools as much as possible, uh, make sure everything's easy to use, and also bring in some more secondary analysis tooling into Dorado. Um, so everything is in one place, on the command line, easy to use. So yeah, that is it from me. Thanks, everyone. Okay.